Hello and welcome back to our staycation review. So in today's staycation review, I'll be doing a short stay over here in Hotel Grand Central. It's actually situated, you know, right in the back alleys of Orchard. So you can see uh, Orchard Plaza right there. So it's a pretty big hotel. So you can see the entire building by itself. Uh, so let's see how it goes. Alright, so this is a deluxe room over here in Hotel Grand Central. So over here on the right, you will see like a cover of sorts. So it's rather old, but it's you know, still rather big. Get everything you need out actually. You have three wooden hangers, a rather worn out ironing board, you know, an iron, uh, a safe, as well as a complimentary slipper. So as you guys can see, you know, it's rather big, although it does, you know, look a bit old. But it should be big enough to store, you know, all of your clothing inside it. Next to it, you know, there's a high flux water dispenser. I haven't seen one of these in like, God knows how long, you know. It's definitely the throwback thing. I'm not even sure if high flux is still around. So I'll be keen to use it later. I think it's pretty interesting. It's something different, you know, from the usual sort of bottled water that you have. Next, you have a countertop, so very nice. You also, you know, uh, make sure the amenities. So you get uh, some coffee mug, some coffee plates, complimentary, uh, fair price at Dilma, coffee, creamer, and sugar. Now below, I'm happy to say, uh, there is a little mini fridge. So it's quite big, and you can see, you know, I can, it can fit like a bottle of wine, which is actually all I need. Yeah. So moving on to the main bedroom, you get a little like couch here, which is pretty nice. You also do like sort of get this how the room looks like. Let me slowly pam. So that's a king size bed for you. Now over here, a king size bed, you do get like a little wooden desk. So again, it looks quite dated, but it does seem smart. So you can, you know, control a few lights. Um, with the bedside controls, you have analog sort of phone as well as uh, tissues. Over here, you get some nice sort of paintings. So it does add like a nice the artistic touch to the room. But yeah, overall the room I say it's quite simple. It does look a bit dated, but there are a few modern touches. So here you see a relatively modern shop across TV, you know, it's flat screen. I think it might be smart, I have to check, but definitely, you know, uh, it looks modern. You have an armchair, you know, you have this office chair. For here, there's a little long desk uh, here. Over here, you do get like so, this is how the view looks like. So you can see Concord Hotel uh, opposite. Yeah, overall, you know, I think it's a, uh, it's a quaint little room. It's not that big, but not that small as well. I think it's about 20 or 22 square feet. You know, it's just everything you need. Uh, yeah, and overall, despite the age, I mean, it does look a bit dated, but despite the age, as far as I can tell in my first initial impressions, it does look uh, rather clean. Alright, and this is the bathroom. So it's a bit small, but... You know, on, over here on the left, you get like a consult uh, system toilet bowl. So again, I'm quite surprised to see such a design, such an old hotel. Uh, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's a bidet. So you see some towels on top. You, know, you have a hair dryer, which is always good touch. Not all hair dryers. Uh, not all uh, sort of older hotels have hair dryers. You know, you get some complimentary uh, toiletries, but I don't think they're branded. So probably not amazing to use. They have toothbrush, kit available, a sink, and of course, you know, they have actually have a bathtub. Okay, the bathtub is not very big, but again, I'm surprised, you know, at the price that there's a bathtub. And of course, there's a standing shower head as well. And of course, you can see here sort of this glass transparent, half transparent thing. So again, it looks like a rather modern design. Although, I must add that because of the sliding nature of the door, you can't actually lock the door. So that's something to consider as well. But yeah, overall, it's a small, relatively small bathroom. But hey, at least it's a bathtub. Okay, now I'll show you guys the swimming pool. Alright, so this is the pool of uh, Hotel Grand Central. It's just like a rooftop pool. So you can see, you can see the orchard skyline. You know, very nice uh, sort of view of, well, orchard I guess. You can see orchard, orchard Central there. Uh, yeah, and you can see Concord Hotel as well. So the context is actually even taller than Concord Hotel, which is a surprise. Now here you get like a little kiddies pool, you know, for kids to wade in. So again, it's relatively uh, family friendly. But over here is the main pool. Again, it's not it's not very big, but I think if you want to do some swimming, you can. You know, it's 1.2 meters as well. And everything, you know, even though this is a relatively old hotel, uh, everything looks pretty new. It looks like it's been recently renovated. Especially you can see side the shrubs, the greens uh, at the sides. And you can see as well the lounge chairs. You can just chill as well. Pretty nice. And again, I think the best part is that it's a rooftop pool. Oh, that's a nice view again. Okay? For hotel, you know, that's quite old. Uh, I think it definitely exceeded my expectations, even though the pool itself uh, aren't that big. But yeah, if you want to have some Instagram shots, you know, take some selfies, I think definitely uh, this pool will do the trick. Definitely better than what I expected.
All right, so I'll go for a swim. I'll see you guys soon. Now this is also a gym, but it's a pretty spartan. So it's quite small. You really do only get like a treadmill as well as you know a bicycle machine. So there's not even like free weights. So yeah, if I do some serious gymming, it's probably not it. But if you just run, run or do some sweat some stuff off, sweat your, some calories off, I think this will do. But yeah, it's rather small. Uh, don't expect much. All right, so I just check out uh, Orchard Grand Central uh, Hotel. Uh, I think it's an all right stay, you know. I think for the price, in which about hundred dollars a night, you know, I think it's, it's a decent stay. Uh, the room was better than I expected. Uh, you know, there's a bathtub. Even though the bathtub is really small, uh, the room was generally clean, and I have no issues. I think with the room, the TV was smart as well. Um, I, no, but that being said, the hotel does look a bit run now, a bit later. You know, the hallways look a bit budgety. The lobby is a bit small. The breakfast wasn't really very good but you know at least it's a rooftop pool uh, you can see the orchard skyline i think the best part about orchard grand central is in its name which is that it's in orchard you know it's just a stone throw away you know from uh, somerset mlt or 313 from don donkey and all the good stuff that orchard has to offer so if you're looking for like a cheap hotel to stay in orchard i think i think orchard grand central may be one of the cheapest hotels they can find in orchard at under a hundred dollars so i think the location is really the best of uh, orchard, Cent uh, orchard grand central hotel so if you have less than hundred dollars to spend, you know, even stay close to Orchard, I think I think it's a I think it's a very viable choice. But why return? Uh, probably not. But like I said, if you want a cheap hotel in Orchard, it's a decent choice. All right, so that wraps up my staycation uh, review for Orchard Grand Central Hotel. If you like the video, do give it a thumbs up. You know, do subscribe, do share the video around. And as always, uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Be sure to check out the written review over on the website as well. Ciao.